what you're gonna be seeing is me getting ready for the Riverdale costume. I'm gonna be playing the part of Josie from Riverdale, pussy cats, but yeah, in Riverdale, and the like the cheerleader outfit. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting it all together. You're gonna see my face. You're gonna see me put the outfit together and see the other girls. You're gonna see um, Cheryl, played by um, Charlotte, and you're gonna see Veronica, played by Yasmin. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is, okay, you show what you're using, I guess. So this is Emmy Way Makeup Academy Pro Base Primer. I'm super drunk. So yeah, as you're doing this, we talk about stuff, don't we? So I'm about to be Josie. What do you guys think about this season of Riverdale? It is, um, it's been pretty good so far. I love Riverdale. Um, but some people made some interesting comments about the most recent episode, so... Oh, God, I didn't put my phone on silent. Yeah, so they were talking about how um, Archie, um, you know when he was ready to give up his his trainers? He was like, oh, the winner gets my trainers and everyone was ready to fight for it. An interesting factor of that is not everyone is the same size in shoes, so why were they all wanting these trainers? I was like, hmm, there's been a few, shall we say, discrepancies, but no, I do like Riverdale. But sometimes if I watch it at night before I go to bed, I feel a bit funny, so I need to watch like something happy. But yeah, who's your favourite character on Riverdale? <laughs> funny enough, my favourite character is Veronica, but I will be playing Josie. Um, I like Josie as well, to be fair. Hopefully this season we'll see a bit more of her. So I'm using a Body Shop, so it's Tuscany Chestnut. I normally do mix it, but I forgot what I mix it, I lost it. <laughs> I left it at home, um, so... We will just be using this, but it's pretty much pretty spot on with my shade, so it should be fine. By the way, if you are watching this for makeup tips, I really apologise because, like I said, I'm not a makeup guru in the slightest. But yeah, what I'm also loving is that we have a black lead in Riverdale. Like, I think it's very important to be able to see yourself. So we have Veronica, who's Latina, and then we have... Um, Josie, who's black, so young black girls can look up to her and be like, this is me. I saw a really cute video actually of her seeing a young girl that like looked up to her in the show and she was like, I see myself in her, she sees herself in me. That was really cool to see that the representation is there. Cool show. And I think I like that there's different bodies being shown in that in there as well. And well, before Veronica's mum became male. One of the highest people in power was a black female, uh, Josie's mum. She was male, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. Let me know though, who are your favourite characters on Riverdale? What are your thoughts on Riverdale? What are your thoughts on them doing music? Because I feel like it was hit and miss. Like some people liked it, some people didn't. Do you know what? This is actually an okay match. Like I do tend to mix it because I just like it to look a bit warm. But this isn't too bad. Eyebrows. I'll show you how I do my eyebrows. Again, not going to be perfect, but I did learn from YouTube. So here's a tip for you. If you want to learn how to do your makeup, watch YouTube. So, <laughs> I ended up finding the foundation I make. It's L'Oreal True Match, and it's shade 9.5 anyways, mahogany. So yes, yeah, so I miss Tus- I miss- I miss or I mix? I mix Tuscany Chestnut and Mahogany from L'Oreal. Now, this could be completely wrong what I'm doing right now, but Yellow. So I'm just going to put it over everything else I've done. Uh, it kind of works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is not the channel you come to for makeup tips. So I'm probably teaching you everything wrong if you are learning from me. So I apologize. Don't learn from me. Other channels are available. But I just want you guys to see how it all comes together. Right. Face done. I just brush out my eyebrows, like so. Who did I learn this from? I think this was from Monica Style Muse. That's where I learned to do my eyebrows. But yeah, again, these are not going to be the best eyebrows you've ever seen. Maybe the worst. Who knows? Um, <laughs> this is really hard, doing makeup and talking. So I brush my eyebrows up and then I use the Rimmel London pencil. What colour is this? Dark brown. Guys, I'm going to just keep repeating it because People may, you may have skipped through some of the video. If I reiterate it so many times, you will get the fact that this is not the best makeup you're ever gonna see. Okay. People that do get ready with me, 
Shout out to you even makeup tutorials. It's not easy. It's really not easy. My costume for this year, when this video is out, because I'm going, so I've got this costume, this dance video costume, Riverdale. I've got another Get Ready With Me video, so make sure you check that out. And then I've got the just actual Halloween celebration day. I'm not going to give away what that look is yet, but make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see it there. Comment below also what you're going as for Halloween. I'd actually really want to know. After I've done my eyebrows, not that great, but they're still done, I use concealer. So I got the Revolution Conceal and Define. Yeah, and I just draw around my eyebrows. For everybody watching this, I can guarantee you, you definitely can do your makeup better than me. This eyebrow's done. We've moved. Also, I don't know if I already asked this, but what are your plans, guys, for Halloween? What are you doing? What do you like to do? So, let me go through some of the things I've done for Halloween. I remember I went to a house party. That's a good way to spend Halloween, because you're like, you're indoors, you don't have to worry about getting somewhere, getting there before you've got to pay. I kind of just say, I just like a natural look anyways. It's because I can't do anything but a natural look. So this bit, I think I learned from Patricia Bright in one of her videos. Like there are so many now online you can find. So <laughs> I look like I'm doing. Oh, you can find so many videos on YouTube and learn how to do your makeup. That being said, I still have not progressed into doing it really good. Like my cousin, she posted a video in our group chat, and her makeup skills have just become so good. Can you do your makeup and keep your mouth just like this? It's really hard. You have to go like that. <laughs> Don't watch my edges right now, they are going to be sorted out. Basically, I've been trying to work out twice a day in the lead up to Halloween because I try and get in shape for Halloween. Like most people get in shape for summer, I get in shape for Halloween. <laughs> So yeah, I always like to do the concealer area first and the foundation's all done and then I can do my edges because I just think, no, it's not low battery, oh my god. I did my edges, so what I normally do, I get a toothbrush and I use my trusty eco styling gel and yeah, I just use like some old tights but I use like a thin one so it really lays flat. other YouTubers are available. <laughs> but I'm just going to be honest, this video is choppy because my battery keeps going low. Alright, now for the eyes in 3, 2... Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do, because I don't know if you realise, but Josie's got like a bit of a blue lid, so I'm going to try and put a bit of blue eyeshadow on top of it, just to give it a bit of a vixen's feel. That's me doing like getting cheery. <laughs> So um, again, I don't feel like you need to see this on camera because I'm not putting it on in any like groundbreaking way, but yeah. And we're back with a... <laughs> this is not a Riverdale costume, it says cheer, it doesn't say vixens, but I found a good way to save money. So their colour scheme is blue, yellow and white, um, so this doesn't look exactly like their costume obviously. But I know that sometimes they wear white long sleeves, so I thought to put a white long sleeve inside this, so you will see that in there, over here. I'm so gutted, because basically Josie's hair is like curly, and I've got an actual wig that looks like that, but I've got my hair in faux locks right now, so I can't put it on. So I'll kind of try and emulate the style, but with faux locks, so this is if Josie did faux locks, which I think she'd look great in. So Josie, if you're watching this, so yeah, this is the outfit. So this is Josie, and now let's have some fun. <laughs> so here we are, guys. We are all together. We have Veronica, we have Cheryl, we have I was gonna say Leonie, Josie, and uh, Cheryl's about to put on her iconic red lip. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is it with the white top inside. So there you go, this is how you save money and don't spend, what, 50 pounds? Yeah, the official costume was like 50 pounds. 50 pounds. This was 8 pounds Ridiculous. or something like that. And like, if you wanted, you could even like, get the Ripetail logo. Logo, stickers and stuff and put it over. Yeah. There you go. You could definitely do that. 
Here we go, life hack. Halloween hack. <laughs> H H. <laughs>